And good morning. Welcome to Friday's Channeling. I'm Roxanne Swainheart. This is Odyssey of Ascension. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. And good morning to the collective. This is Osepius, once again, sending you our eternal gratitude for tuning in to this moment of now to receive in that fashion particular inputs, particular ideas, perspectives, expansions, expressions of all that is for your own journey, your own expression, your own receivership of all that is for the experience that you are now creating for yourself. In the 3D world, <clears throat> there are many 3D worlds out there. We want you to understand that many of your vibrational understandings of a spirit, of a guide, of a feeling of something in the room with you, are not necessarily only in 4D and up. Remember, 3D has a great varying degrees of games, and in those games, experience, i.e. co-creation, humanity, a game. In those experiences on those other incarnations, they are aware to some degree of their understanding of what they truly are, the creator. And they create in a fashion of ideas to their best ability according to their beliefs and that kind of idea. But there are different paradigms, different mastery plans, different constructs to play within the bounds, that idea of the particular game. And many of them, and we'll talk about grays because many grays are here and many of you have seen grays in the 3D, that can many of the games, can biolocate simply by perceiving the vibration and choosing that reality in the law number two, everything is here and now. Here and now. And then we want to talk about here and understanding of that idea. When you are perceiving your reality, it is only here. It is nowhere else. There is nowhere else unless you are choosing to perceive a distance, which you do in a 3D, four-dimensional world, 3D space with time, and it is a space. So space is space to move around, not outer space. So we want you to understand, if everything is here, then you can be everything you want to be here. So if you're getting a vibrational connection to, and we'll keep it simple at that idea first until you expand and more beliefs and allow yourself to experience higher ability of this experience of creating here what you choose to see. We're talking 3D Earths in time lines here. All of them, all of your timelines, all of them, all of them, all of them, all of them are right here. They are nowhere else. They're in time, which is an illusion. So we want to focus on, once again, the idea of here. So if you want to, let's say, incorporate another timeline in this now, you can do that and perceive it in this here. That's what a lot of the grays are doing. They are fully in that idea, but they are also walking around right on top of you right through you, right next to you, in their reality, as well as billions and billions and billions of other, we'll call them, yes, other incarnations playing the 3D game. Because everything is here. We want you to understand there is no over there. If you are perceiving the planet of, let's say, Saturn is over there, it is not. It is right here. 
and you can go there right here if you choose. We want you to understand that the co-creation moments are the ones that are your ability to see and perceive according to your own limitations. But as you all are, let's say, broadening your perspective range in light, you are now being able to vibrate that light into the perceivable mind um, in and of this reality that you are choosing to experience in this now, right here. In other words, you can feel and see different things about you all the time. You are raising your vibration to give yourself that ability. Okay, it's a built-in ability because remember, everything is here and now and everything is perceivable from right where you at, right where you are at, at all times. Everything is simultaneous, everything is sequential here and now. So if you want to see what's going on in your reality and you feel a vibration, you feel a sense of somebody's there, be in acceptance of that. Because you are creating that reality on top and in this reality. You're giving yourself that new ability to biolocate in some fashions, to perceive, to interact with anyone who you have chosen in that fashion, anyone you want to choose to co-create with. So if you want to speak to Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, all you have to do is take that moment of time and bring it into this time. And he will perceive you in his reality and you will perceive him in your reality and sometimes you will actually co-create the two together. Does that make sense? Only? Here in the room, are you having any questions following? Okay. Yeah. Now, what's a gray? A gray is an alien. The little gray guys with the big almond-shaped, bald, about three, four feet, gestures of the court, we call them. Okay, so they're walking around like people or they're walking around like themselves, like a gray? No, oh, they're always walking around as grays. Hmm. Mm. They're not much into what you would call shape-shifting. They're 3D all the time. That's where their species is at in 3D, much like humanity is in 3D fully right now and transitioning to 4D, feeling 4D, creating from the 4D to 3D in continuation for the ascension, the whole plan. Grays are in 3D. There are some of their IE civilization that has ascended because they're aware so some choose, some don't, that kind of thing. Because they're getting the experience of being a gray in that physical reality. So the I does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. So the idea about the physical reality is they're all right here, all of them. No matter what galaxy, no matter what universe, no matter what time, they're all right here in your perceivable now. Everything is here and now. We want to focus on the here part. We've been focusing quite a bit on the now part. But the here part is everything right here. All you have to do is choose. Don't expect, don't look, and do not process from the 3D logical because it's unknown to you. You are explorers once again of the unknown and it will be given to you by your higher self, your super conscience, all that is. And that co-created moment will come into your reality in a series of nows to be experienced when you're vibrationally ready and fear lack ready. In other words, you're all love and you're ready to perceive that. So if you want to once again co-create and see everything that is here, allow yourself. Lots of you are perceiving, now seeing, different things, i.e. ghosts, more than ever. Okay? More than spirits. You're getting glimpses of things that are in your reality. They are not in your reality. They, in their perspective, are here. That's what they chose to experience. If you are saying they're over there, that's because they've chosen to be in that reality, which is your reality, which is here. So focus upon here all the time in the now. And that will, let's say, amplify your understanding of here and now. Because you get more perceivable nows in reality here. You don't need to go anywhere. Going somewhere is your limitation of, let's say, yes, 
let's say, traveling, walking to experience what you call space in 3D, the three-dimensional with space in there. But that's no longer, i.e., needed in that fashion for existence and experience. The new experience is being bringing the room to you here, bringing that fashionable idea from there to here, because it's all right here and everything is right here once again and now. Stand by. There is a time that we will come upon in the earthly planes where the heavens will come and co-create in your experiential nows. The angels are, let's say, coming more and more. The angels remember entities are, let's say, in the physical form, not appearing as angels, but they can appear as angels, no doubt. In that idea of appearing as an angel is whatever you perceive in your mind an angel will look like. They will give you their representation at times and you will perceive your representation of the angels as well. The angels are going to be more involved on a day-to-day -day basis in a lot of your lives. And a lot of you know who your angels are. Those guides of yours. Whispering into your soul at night, whispering in your ear, petting you, stroking the back of your head. Mm. That kind of idea. So let's not be shocked. We don't want to be in awe in every moment of your now and continuation of being in awe of the things that you are now receiving. You're on your journey home. There is a point of understanding where you can be in awe of your reality, but get over it in that fashion and accept what you are, God. And in that, it becomes a knowing, and now you are starting to perpetuate and use those new abilities and realities for your own experience, your timeline you've chosen to better become your soul's purpose in understanding all that is. So do not be in shock or in awe of what you are perceiving in the reality now, here, that you are now creating. Your gifts are becoming, let's say, faster, more usable, more exciting. But don't slow yourself down in that fashion by saying, ah, oh, wow, look at this, and tell the stories over and over and over again. You deserve it. Make sense? You're allowed to have those things because you are those things that are out of the box. You're always pushing the edges. And once you break through and perceive something, don't step back and look at it and not sure about it. Because if you only perpetuated that as fear, it will be perceived as fear continuing in limitations. Accept everything you have given yourself. Accept everything that you have given yourself. Your ability to create for this particle of information and forgetfulness to expand itself into all that is. We will get that across. Yes. Stand by. Yeah. We should take a break. We are going to ponder on a new idea. We're checking, i.e., the vibrational state of the collective and see if this is the perfect now to bring this forward. Because it is so, let's say, the variance is enormous in these critical times in that fashion of you stabilizing your new infancy of 4D. We will bid you. Pardon me. We will bid you a good moment. We will see you in a few. I don't. Whew. Ooh, that's a little strange. <laughs> there's. I don't know. I, I, you're just, they're hesitant about something. Well, they're yeah, they're they're hesitant, they're, they're hesitant about yeah. something. I mean, the here and now thing I got. And that's really freaking cool because everything is here and now. Now I understand 
the part of the law that uh, Bashar brought to the table. Everything is here and now, not here in time, here in your reality. You know, I didn't, even, I didn't think about it like that, to that depth, you know, in now. But it's here, you're creating here. There's no out there, there's no over there, there's only here. So that was cool. But they're hesitant about something. And that's what I'm, I'm trying to understand since there's like no harm in it. There I'm is. Sorry. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If I gave you a power to create right now, at will, are you ready for that? So I just wonder, well, why, why did they bring it up if they were uncertain? I don't know. You know what I mean? Because because, because everything is now, now, right. now. And you're shifting the reality of accepting this message right now. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's always right now with the whole human collective to allow to bring something through. It shifts. Because they're outside working in. We decide our own nows, but they're deciding with us the nows to give. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it shifts. Right? Yes. You, you know? So they're hesitant because they're not sure if it's going to be maybe an infringement upon free will. Is this the most beneficial time? Because the variance of human collective is is so, I don't even want to say malleable. What is well, that? Well, in the way that it's been explained to me by other beings is that most other races only vary about 10% across the entire species. Humans, on the other hand, are, are oh, huge yeah, variants. Right. I okay? remember that. Huge variants, okay? Compared to any other race, we are more varied right. than anyone else. So okay. that's the so hesitation, that's, okay? Mm. So that was a good question because that led to that. Uh -huh. Awesome. Yeah. I like yeah. That. So now, yeah, because now I can see how it would be across the board, uh -huh. you know, way beyond 10%. So they have to assess. Okay, the lowest common denominator. Bingo. And and see if that yes. fits within the idea to get that out in the collective. Yes. Because it, it, it just it just it is huge. Mm. Huge. Interesting. Because I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what it is? I okay, okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> somebody's somebody's here and I don't know who it is. So we got an unknown coming. We're going to take a break. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, did you yeah, feel it? Yeah, it was okay. like, yeah. hi. <laughs> I'll be right back. Love you. Yeah. <laughs>